Well, Scott, I just got a look at the police report and it lists four suspects. It does not give any descriptions of those suspects, but it says detectives are looking for four people. I'll step away so you can see the damage where police say someone drove a car into a garage door so they could get inside this Gander Mountain. Now, police say the suspect stole at least 10 guns. Police say eight of those guns are long guns, two of them shotguns. Officers got the call around three this morning when the store's security alarm went off. When officers got here, they found the busted garage door. Detect Searching the parking lot and the building for any evidence they might be able to find. They believe there is surveillance video, but they haven't told us anything about it yet. We don't know if it shows the suspects or anything useful, but because this happened overnight when the store was closed, the good news is no one was here. No one was hurt. Again, police say 10 guns stolen from the Gander Mountain here in Castleton. They're looking for four suspects. They have not released any suspect description yet, but they said the car they're driving will likely have heavy damage. So if you know anything, you can always call Crime Stoppers at 262 TIPS. Scott and Lauren. Well, Scott, just in the past few minutes, an officer here told me they may have found the suspect car not too far from here. They haven't given us any other details other than they may have found that suspect car. It will have quite a bit of damage on it, they say, because you can see they used the car to crash into the garage door here at Gander Mountain. ATF told us they're investigating here with IMPD. They know the suspect's had an idea of what they wanted. They went straight for the guns. They did not try to get cash or anything else. They say they wanted guns when they came here to Gander Mountain. Now the store security alarm went off around three this morning and when officers got here, they found the damage and realized the guns were missing. Gander Mountain employees are still looking at their inventory, but so far police say the thieves took at least 10 guns. Eight of them officers are calling long guns. The IMPD police report lists four suspects, but eight ATF says they're still looking at surveillance video to be sure of how many people were involved. ATF says they've investigated several gun thefts in the past few years and they've had success in tracking many of them down. We asked if thieves have targeted big stores like Gander Mountain before. Um, recently in this area, not that I am aware of, uh, there have been other um, stores of this size across the country that have been hit recently. Police say the suspect car will have heavy damage, but they aren't saying what kind of car that is. But again, officers here just told me they believe they may have found the suspect car. If you know anything else, they're asking you to call Crime Stoppers at 262 TIPS. You can also call the local ATF office. The number is 287-3500. It's at the bottom of your screen. But Lauren, we are going to go over to that scene where officers say they may have found this car. We'll let you know as soon as we have any new information. The police say it may be involved in this morning's smash and grab. We are actually just around the corner. We're in a parking lot just north of the Gander Mountain. I'll give you a look at this truck. ATF and IMPD found this truck. They say it could be the truck that slammed into the store this morning. You can see there's damage on the back of the truck. So ATF told me they believe the suspects slammed into the garage door. They reversed into the back door there to get inside and steal those 10 guns. Now, no one is here with the truck. So, so far, police have no word on who these suspects are. We don't know who this truck belongs to yet. They're still trying to figure out that information, but just right around the corner from the store where 10 guns were stolen, police have found this black truck with damage on the back of it. Now, I asked police if a tip from from someone led them here and they said no. They said it was just good old fashioned police work. So we're working to learn more about how they found this truck and how it plays in to this smash and grab at Gander Mountain. As soon as we have new information, we'll be sure to let you know. We're in a parking lot just around the corner. It's just north of the store. I'll give you a look at this truck here. It's the black one behind me. You can see there is some damage to the back of the truck, and that leads police to believe the driver may have backed into the garage door at Gander Mountain in order to steal the 10 guns. Now, there's still no word of who owns this truck, and it doesn't look like police found any of the stolen guns inside it. At this point, investigators don't think the suspects went for cash or anything else inside the store. Workers at the store are still taking inventory, but IMPD says the thieves got away with at least 10 guns. Eight of them are what they call long guns. Officers got the call when the storm's alarm went off at three this morning. They say there's surveillance video, but they haven't told us what it shows. ATF says they have not seen big gun stores targeted like this recently, but smaller stores have been hit before.
Well, we've had several over the last couple of years that we've been very successful in solving. So we'll just use those tactics to track these guys down. Now, IMPD believes there were at least four suspects involved, but ATF says they're using the surveillance video to get an exact number of suspects and hopefully descriptions. But again, police have found the truck they believe the thieves used to smash into the Gander Mountain and steal those 10 guns, but still no word on where those suspects are and where those 10 guns are. So if you have any information, they're asking you to call Crime Stoppers at 262 TIPS. You can also call the local ATF office. Lauren. Jeff Right, ATF now says the thieves got away with 11 guns. ATF says they were all high dollar, expensive, long guns. Now ATF is offering a $5,000 reward for anyone that gives them information leading to the arrest and conviction of the people involved. Now, as you mentioned, they have found a truck that they believe could have been involved in this smash and grab this morning. You can see the black truck here behind me. Now, officers say there is damage to the back of the truck, so that leads them to believe that the driver backed into the garage door at Gander Mountain and then got inside to steal those 11 guns. Now, the suspects did go straight for the guns. Officers say they didn't try to get any cash or get anything else from the store. They are looking at surveillance video from Gander Mountain and neighboring stores to try to get an idea of who these people are. They need your help in tracking down these suspects. They say if you know anything, they want to get these guns off the streets, 11 stolen guns. If you know anything, you can call crime stoppers at 262 tips. You can also call the local ATF office. That number is 287-3500. We have that information on our website, wishtv.com. And just remember, ATF is now offering a $5,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest and a conviction. Lauren and Kylie.